Cisco Identity Services Engine downloadable access control list. So we're going to create a DACL and this is going to be used for the VPN use case. So let's go ahead to policy, hit policy elements results. We'll go ahead and knock down authorization and go to downloadable ACLs and we'll go ahead and click add. We'll give it a name here, HR VPN DACL and I'll go ahead and paste in a DACL that I've already pre-configured. So we're going to de deny IP any to that IP address 1.1.1 um, and then permit IP any any. So that's the first one. That's the HR-VPN DACL that we'll use for HR users. We'll go ahead and create another one and we'll call this one sales. Now you can see this equal sign, it gives us a message right away. Let's ignore it for a second. We'll go ahead and paste in our DACL. This time we're only blocking 8.8.8. We'll check our DACL, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and submit and we get an error. We've got to remove that equal and put in a dash or something that's permitted. Now we can go ahead and hit submit. Now we've been building these from scratch, but you can also come up here and hit duplicate. And this way it'll duplicate the existing downloadable ACL. You give uh, a name change. In this case it's gonna be IT instead of high UT. And we'll get rid of the deny statement and permit IP any. We'll check the DACL, make sure everything looks good and we'll go ahead and submit. And that's it. Pretty easy, these will be used in authorization uh, policies a little bit later and we got HR, IT and sales VPN DACLs.